everyone, Henry Elo here, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching Young Frankenstein by Mel Brooks. This is going to be the first black and white movie that I've watched on this channel. And I'm sure this movie is going to reference some, you know, Frankenstein, maybe the original story. And I'm going to be okay with that because as a kid, I've read uh, Frankenstein. Not sure if you know one of those uh, great illustrated classics. I think the author of that book was Mary Shelley. I can't believe that I actually found this book. Honestly, I, I thought I gave it away. I mean, look at this. Look at all of this. Like, it brings back so many memories. These are really, really good books when I was a kid. I can't say for sure about the other references, but you know, the most important thing is uh, to have fun as we watch this movie. And also, I saw that uh, this movie was actually part horror, part comedy. Not, not sure how that worked, but we'll find out. Da, 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 da. Oh, they don't have the latter part. Ah, of course, if it is Frankenstein, there must be a... An old castle and thunder rumbling in the dark skies. Ah, uh, Gene Wilder. Wait, Madeline Kahn, isn't that the, the Lily von Stupp in Blazing Saddles? Midnight. Those flames are so consistent, I'm not even sure if they're real. Wow, that was sudden. <laughs> Just take the fingers apart first, man. Called the medulla oblongata. Oh. Passes out of the skull. Oh yeah, I think the medulla oblongata regulates the breathing. Helps us to breathe automatically. That's Frankenstein. <laughs> I beg your pardon? What? It's pronounced Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Victor Frankenstein, who went into graveyards, dug up freshly buried corpses. Yes! 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 I'm not sure I understand the distinction between reflexive and voluntary nerve impulses. Mr. Hilltop here, with whom I have never worked, would you hop up on your feet and stand beside this table? Is this the priest from Blazing Saddles? Or not? No, no I'm not sure. Raise your left knee, please. You have just witnessed a voluntary nerve impulse. Reflex movements are made independently of the will. Rotten yellow son of a bitch! <gasps> we are not aware of these impulses. Poor old man. What if we block the nerve impulse by simply applying local pressure? Why, you mother grabbing bastard! As you can yeah, see, all <laughs> communication is shut off. By the sound, anyway. We would collapse! Like a bunch of broccoli. Great metaphor. Uh, uh, Dr. Frank Frankenstein. Frank <laughs> Darwin preserved a piece of vermicelli. It actually began to move with a voluntary motion. Vermicelli? <laughs> Isn't that a type of noodle? The worm, sir. Okay. Wasn't that the whole basis of your grandfather's work, sir? The reanimation of dead tissue? You have more chance of reanimating this scalpel than you have of mending a broken nervous system. The only thing that concerns me is the preservation of life! Oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> that calmed him down quick. Dismissed. <laughs> He's about to cry from the pain. That's Frankenstein. <laughs> To bring you the will of your great grandfather. I'll count the hours that you're away. Madeline oh, Khan. Darling, so alive. Not on the lips. My sweet love. The hair, the hair. This means <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Does that mean <laughs> you love me? Well, hurry now, or I make a fool of myself. Oh, the nails. Oh. Just don't touch her. Dang. Ah, Goodbye, yes. Goodbye, Freddy. That's how you shake hands during COVID. <laughs> Did she dodge that? So what do you want me to do about it? Every day! Love him, love him! 
New York, ne? Ja, was soll ich denn da machen? Aber jeden Tag. Du lass ihn, lass ihn. Also, die sind Couple saying the same thing. Dr. Frankenstein. It's Frankenstein. You're putting me on. You must be Igor. Now it's pronounced Igor. I knew it. Now he really is pulling his leg. I'm sure we'll get along splendidly. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> Sounded hollow. Perhaps I could help you with that hump. What hump? Allow me, master. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> Couldn't take that. Walk this way. This way. <laughs> Walk this way. Would you like to have a roll in the hay? Don't mind if I do. It's fun! Werewolf? There! What? An actual Bear werewolf? Wolf. There! Castle! Why are you talking that way? There it is. Home. It looks pretty remote and lonely. <laughs> Bruh. The rings are so big they can break the door down. What? Knockers! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> oh. I am Frau Blucher. Frau Blucher. May I present Frau Blucher? Every time they say her name. After you, Frau Blucher. Horses don't like her. Blucher! Follow me, please. Candles aren't even lighted. Oh, now Igor can carry that briefcase. Stay close to the candles. The staircase can be treacherous. Are you actually going to light the candle? Wow, striking resemblance. This is the only library I know of, Dr. Frankenstein. 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 That's so confusing. Would the doctor care for a brandy before retiring? Some warm milk? That sounds nice. Ovaltine. Ovaltine? Isn't, isn't that like chocolate? And I will say good night. Good night. Did you seriously just kiss the portrait? Good night, Frau Blucher. <laughs> the horses can hear that from that distance. Hmm. With such a big mansion, you'd think you'd have a like queen or king sized bed. What's that strange music? I have no idea. They can actually hear the music. It's coming from behind this wall. Where is it? What? Maybe it's a book. Hand me that candle, will you? Okay, it was a candle. Put the candle back. That didn't work. I'll block the bookcase with my body. It's a bad idea. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Now listen to me very carefully. <laughs> Don't put the candle back. Price crushed. A passageway. Whatever that music is, it's coming from down there. That's so strange. If it was a candle, you'd think that they have to pull it instead of putting the candle back. That's old. Good lord. Come on, that's ridiculous. It's been so many years. Since this laboratory was opened. <laughs> Freshly did. How did he get in here? How did you get here? Through the dump waiter. But I just followed it down. And put Follow your head there. A hunch. Hunch. Wait, master. It might be dangerous. You go first. <laughs> Two nasty looking switches over here. But I'm not going to be the first. Then what are you here for, Igor? Damn your eyes! Too late. <laughs> so this is where it all happened. Where Frankenstein was created? I mean Frankenstein's monster. For the main switch. Oh, okay, his grandfather was the original Frankenstein who created the monster. That's what I assume. And this is more modern times. Yeah, how big do the spiders have to be to, to create this huge cobweb? This explains the music. But who played it? This is my grandfather! 
Campbell's private library. I feel it. Look. How I did it. Very straightforward book. It comes work. <laughs> I mean, it could work, but do you... Like, what, what would be your reason for doing it? Just to prove it could work? In other words, his organs would all have to be increased in size. Exactly. He would have an enormous Schwanstücke. <laughs> you can choose not to create that part. Or you could create a woman. Oof. Oh, then she would have an enormous things. <laughs> He's doing exactly what his grandfather did. Digging up dead bodies. What a filthy job. Could be worse. How? Could be raining. Hey, fair enough. Okay, you jinxed it. I go, you jinxed it. Need a hand? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> have I have one. one. <laughs> thanks very much, all the same. But I've never seen your face before. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. How very nice to meet you. You're chilled to the bone, sir. Oh. <laughs> Let's check it. Yes. <laughs> sir, always. Good night, Uncle. <laughs> Good night, sir. Nice. Nice. All we need now is an equally magnificent brain. Didn't you didn't you used to have that on the other side? What? Your uh Oh never mind. <laughs> Igor is pulling his leg. Yeah, I think he really did have you on the other side. <laughs> Slip brains through the slot and door. Wow, it isn't even locked. Security oh. is really great. <laughs> That's pretty small. Sure, you have to use this abnormal brain, not the one beside it, which is a visionary. Well, how nice of them. They even gave him shoes with very weird soles. Ah, the old kites. Now tie off the kites and hurry down as fast as you can. There's the possibility of electrocution. Do you understand? I understand. I Ooh. understand. Why are you shouting? He's fast. <laughs> Good. Hump is back. <laughs> well, dear, elevate me. No, right here. <laughs> oh, the platform. Oh, that, yeah. That's not what she thought he wanted her to elevate. Penetrate into the very womb <laughs> of impervious nature herself. I don't feel like it's very safe for him to be there. Oh, really playing the part of a mad scientist here. Oh, he's smoking hot. Nothing. Doctor, I'm sorry. No, no. We can try again. To accept our failures with quiet dignity and grace. Son of a bitch bastard, I'll get you for this! <laughs> what did you do to me? You get him! He's already dead. <laughs> quiet dignity and grace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, mama. All those scientists, they're all alike. What they really want is to rule the world! <laughs> we still have nightmares from five times before. Before what happened? Inspector Kemp! Nice movements. A riot is an ugly sink. Before we go around killing people, better make them here of our evidence. Wait, his, he has an eye patch. What? He has a monocle over his eye patch. Pay a little visit on the good doctor. Wait, I thought people hold the monocle with their, like, their outer, like, eyelids and stuff. How did he even have that monocle stay on the eye patch? You haven't even touched your food. There. Now I've touched it. Ooh. Happy? I'll never forget my old dad when these things would happen to him. What did he say? What the hell are you doing in the bathroom day and night? Why don't you get out of there? Give someone else a chance. Completely unrelated. 
maybe it is better off dead. Did you wash your hands from Constine? Dun dun dun. What is this? Schwarzwald or Kirschtorte? Mm. Oh, do you like it? I'm not partial to desserts myself, but this is excellent. Well, now look here, if it wasn't you, when it wasn't you. It's alive! Is the sedative ready? Yes, Tata. I want you to sit up. The thing is, you shouldn't expect him to understand language. God! Why are you smoking at a time like this? Quick, give him the what? Give him the walk. <gasps> Three syllables. First syllable. A playing charades. <laughs> Sid. 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 Bryce's gonna die before he can finish. Sid. Oh. Dirty word. Thief. He said a dirty word. Give him a set again. Oh. Thief. Thief. Bro, I'd be, I'd be dead. I can't play charades. Said again? <laughs> you should have pointed to a thief. Said a thief. May I speak to you for a moment? Of course. Sit down, won't you? No, no, up here. Oh. Thank you. Whose brain I did put in? And you won't be angry? I will not be angry. That's what every parent says. I be normal. I put an abnormal brain into a seven and a half foot, 54 inch wide. 54 inch wide. Gorilla! Wait, get in the butt! <laughs> Three syllables, yes! Where are you going? To wash up. I've got to look normal. We've all of us got to behave normally. Take seven short. <laughs> nice grouping. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's too far a miss. I'm unusually upset. He's not even holding it right. Find it extremely amusing, that's all. <laughs> no interest whatsoever in carrying on your grandfather's sport. Mm. May I take that for a guess? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the dart got stuck in his hat. Tires are flat. Oh, the darts. Bro, he didn't even show that many darts. <laughs> yeah, it was Frau Blucher playing the piano. That uh, piano. The violin. He'll kill you. Not this one. He is as this gentle one. as a lamb. <laughs> Rotten, I tell you, rotten! Snay on the open ray. What? Your grandfather used to play into the creature he was making. And it was you all the time. Yes! Your cigar smoldering in the ashtray. Yes! What's the purpose of setting him free? Well, that door is fragile. What have I done? Well, it was Frau Blucher's fault for setting him free. Then monsters is loose. Boards must be tight. That's not gonna help. Thank God you put Helga to bed. I asked you to put Helga to. What shall we throw in now? Please don't show the girl in. You didn't look upstairs! Sit down! She's gonna fly! <laughs> wow! Perfection! A visitor is all I ask. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Wish granted. Instantly. Oh, he's blind. Oh, you must have been the tallest one in your class. My name is Harold. What is your name? Mm. I didn't get that. Mm. I didn't realize you were mute. How does a nice bowl of soup sound to you? Mm. <laughs> How does he live alone and blind and cook on his own? Mm. 
Is there a zipper? <laughs> that had a zipper on his neck, I just noticed. <laughs> Super pleasure. Bro. <laughs> He's not like getting any suit. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know how he does it. Living alone while he's blind. Wait. A toast. Long French. How did it happen? <laughs> His face is like... <sighs> how hungry you must have been. Mm. Now face me. Worldly matters. Mm. Mm. I is our friend. Where is she? Don't inhale until the tip blows. <laughs> That's not the thing, bro. Lighting the wrong thing. I was gonna make espresso. Espresso. Poor little monster. Or should I say, a poor huge monster. Oh, did he actually learn to play the violin for this? That's cool. <laughs> the sedative just sprayed out. I am going to convince him that he is loved even at the cost of my own life. No matter how terribly I may scream, do not <laughs> open this door. I feel like he's digging his own grave by saying that. Nice working with you. <laughs> Why is she standing there like that? Get me out of here. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> he wasn't in there for more than 10 seconds. Don't you know a joke when you hear one? <laughs> <laughs> Open this goddamn door. I'll kick your ass and heads in. <laughs> Mommy. Hello, handsome. Do you want to talk about the Olympian ideal? You are a god! Okay, let's not go that far. You are good! <laughs> oh, he just wants to be loved. Oh, I'm gonna show you how to walk, how to speak, how to move, how to think. <laughs> now he's looking confused. <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein, are you alright? My name is... Frankenstein! He finally acknowledges his name. Sold out. Mm. After I notice the zipper on the creature's neck, I just can't unsee it. I mean, I just keep noticing it. Of introducing to you a man whose family name was once Booz. The Miss! An infamous. Infamous. Dr. Baron Friedrich von Frankenstein. Isn't it Frederick? Ooh, he's not popular. And yet the seats sold out. This, the reanimation of dead tissue. <laughs> the gateway to immortality. Hmm, immortality is nah, not even close. The creature. <laughs> now, come on, you can't even tell that he was once dead. Okay, he has very thick boots. That's what's making him look so tall. <laughs> Training him using treats. Like a dog. May I now present a cultured man about town. Hey! Oh, he changed fast. <laughs> to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Trying mighty hard to look like Gary Cooper. I love him. <laughs> oh, come on, he's scared. What are they showing? As your creator, I command you to come back. Showing cabbages. Oh wow. Quantity still beats size. To be fair, he didn't even injure or kill anyone, as far as I saw. If I could find a way to equalize the imbalance in his cerebral spinal fluid, he'd be as right as rain. 
But how? Since his size was so big, couldn't you have tried fitting two brains in there? He could be twice as smart. If there was just some way I could give you a little peace. He's really sending out a lot of signals to him. <laughs> okay, the signal got through. Your fiancé will be arriving in a second. What? Mm -hmm. Elizabeth here tonight? I <laughs> she took I. his smoke. Darling. Surprise. Surprise. Love me. Love you. Let's turn in. I'll just pay the driver. Darling. What? Yeah. Surprise. I, uh, yes. <laughs> Love me? Let's turn in. Uh, Ready? I think. Yes. Is something happening between Igor and his darling? Inga and Igor. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> what is it exactly that you do do? Laboratory assistant. <laughs> do do. Would you give me a hand with the bags? You take the blonde and I'll take the one in the table. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's going a bit far, Igor. Man, Igor's too thirsty. What's the matter? Mm. You're afraid of this little fire? See? <laughs> might get hurt. Now he's just being a bully. You know, he kind of asked for it. Yeah, I could have broken out of those chains any time. Up. A riot is an ugly thing. Oh, putting down himself. It's about time that we had one! He will curse the day! He was born a Frankenstein! Born. Born a Frankenstein. Born a Frankenstein! Alright. Uh, Wait, why are they going two different ways? Is your room just down the hall in case I get the fright during the night? Shouldn't they be sleeping together? Stay here with you. Mm -hmm. Would you want me like this now? This soon before our wedding? Oh, they're getting married soon. Okay. Yes! Whoa! Wobbly! Or... <laughs> Good night, darling. Mm -hmm. I love you. He's barely even speaking. Good night and let the bed bug fly. He's holding back by sheer willpower. <laughs> what would... The creature do. And did part of her hair just become white? What do you want? What do you want to do to me? <sighs> Calm down. Oh, you can't be serious. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Woof. Why is this like very similar to Blazing Saddles? <laughs> and she starts singing. <laughs> well, he stole her from. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. You little zipper neck. <laughs> she mentioned the zipper. <laughs> Seven has always been my lucky number. Seven! Where are you going? Oh, you men are all alike. Seven or eight quick ones and you're off with the boys. Oh, I think I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Open the front door for him. Seriously, you want him to climb up all the way there? Oh, he actually climbed up all the way. Quick, catch him! <laughs> oh, he's all tuckered out after seven and eight times and climbing a wall. You realize you're risking both your lives? Yes. What is he planning to do? Well, Igor looks excited. The doctor said to allow 15 minutes, not one second more or less. Well, I hope you guys have a timer then. <laughs> Using him like a battering ram. Eins, zwei, drei. One, two, three. Almost time. It's fine, they're not gonna find this place. Dude, how the heck did they get behind a bookshelf? Wasn't the secret passage? <laughs> three seconds more. Put that man down! I thought they wanted to kill the creature and not Frankenstein. 
In my loneliness, I decided that if I could not inspire love, which was my deepest hope, I would instead cause fear. <sighs> he used his own body as a guinea pig to give me a calmer brain. And a more intelligent one. Let us all go to my house for a little sponge cake or a little bag. Sponge cake. <laughs> and shit. That was fine. But is Frank Frankenstein alright? Oh, he's alright. Hello. Mrs. Frankenstein. And he got married to her. Oh. Is that a side effect? Here I come. Whoa. That hair. <laughs> so she got married to her and then uh, Frankenstein got married to the other. Inga Inga. Why is he acting like a Chinese zombie? <laughs> a little bit. The monster got part of your wonderful brain. But what did you ever get from him? <laughs> did he get something special down there? Ah, <laughs> it's the story of life. I found you. <laughs> yeah, we know what he got from uh, the monster. In the end, nobody gave the monster a name. So glad there's a happy ending for both Frankenstein and his monster. Because in the original story, we know it wasn't a happy ending for both of them. Comparing this to Blazing Saddles, I actually like Blazing Saddles better. It's, I feel like it's funnier. There's one thing I want to check just in case because there's a thing about uh, Frau Blucher and like the horse's name every time they say her name. So like, was there a reference to something or was that just very random? You know, let's just check. What it mentions here is that the... Uh, because Blucher's name uh, means glue in German and in the past, uh, I think horses were used to make glue. Okay, yeah, uh, historically glue is made from collagen taken from animal parts, particularly horse hooves and bones. So in this case, when horses hear Blucher, which means glue, they whinny because they, uh, they get scared. But apparently this article says that that's not true at all. The name Blucher does not mean glue. Basically, it's just meant to show that she does very terrible things to the horses when no one's looking. That's why they're afraid of her name. I hate to think what she could be doing to those horses. Is there anything else I might be missing other than Frau Blucher's name? I can't think of any other things I might have missed. But if I did miss out any joke references, do let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.